่อยมาจากเมืองลาวมาอยู่เมืองไทยสี่ปีครึ่งเขามาอยู่ศูนย์อุปยกก่อนจะมาอเมริกา My parents go out for on straight from Jamaica. Here I was born in America. บางประเทศที่เคยได้ยาดิฉันมาจาก Turkey uh, My hometown uh, is a city called Samsun which is on the northern coast of Turkey but I went to college in Istanbul I feel like I'm, I'm from Istanbul that's where I came from <laughs> So I am, uh, I'm Turkish, I'm from Istanbul and I came in 2005 for my PhD So I immigrated because um, um, I wanted to um, study um, Uh, I want further uh, here. Um, I wanted to get my PhD uh, in finance, uh, and I thought it's the, it would be the best place to get it. Um, the story was uh, basically I wanted to get a graduate degree, and I also wanted to be as much as I love my family. I wanted to be away from my family. In in Turkish culture, usually fathers are more dominant, and I per, my personality is. Um, not very uh, suitable for that type of family structure. That's why I thought that it's going to be better for my relationship with my father if I stay away and um, I do whatever, what I, whatever I want in life. Uh, so my parents are Jamaican. Um, my mom is from a very, very small village in Jamaica. In Jamaica, you have parishes, which is kind of comparable to states. And uh, my dad is from the basically like the capital city of the state. Um, they came to America looking for opportunities. It's a night. I come here 1979. I'm from Laos. Yeah, because it, like this, a first, you know, like this, a uh, this a communist took over, you know, and I decided to come here because like this, I want my family, you know, like. My kid, you know, for future, you know, go school, have good place to live, have country, a uh, good country to live. So I am the resettlement coordinator at CRIS, which stands for Community Refugee and Immigration Services, and um, that position is with the resettlement program. And the resettlement program is working with refugees who have just arrived in the country. Um, so in with. With resettlement, we're providing basic services to help them get on their feet. But still, of course, I'm in touch with him, and I go and visit my family. But uh, putting distance between us, I think, is helpful for our for the health of our relationship. So that was one of my biggest motivating factors for coming to US. And I'm still connected with my, you know, home country. Uh, I could visit every year. So uh, of course I miss many things about Turkey. Uh, I, I wish I could spend more time in Istanbul, for example. Each time I go back, I love that city. Uh, or I could spend more time with my friends there. But everything, every nice thing has a cost, I think. Yeah, I met my fiance here at uh, OSU. We started uh, working at the same time, so that was one of the good things about I think, being in the US. Um, when I was Coming to Columbus, of course, I had no idea about something like that happening. And at that time, I was—I've never been into really the idea of, you know, getting married. Um, but it worked out, and he came here for his studies also, and much before than I did. So he has a much longer experience in the U.S. Legally, there is a, a difference between refugees and immigrants. So here at Chris, we're mostly working with refugees, and legally they have different rights and responsibilities than other kinds of immigrants, typically. Um, so, so refugees have been forced to flee their country, um, as opposed to someone maybe who's coming to the U.S. for um, school, you know, education, jobs, to join family members. A refugee has been forcibly displaced because of some kind of persecution. So that could be political persecution, religious, ethnic, um, whatever the case may be. In my country came to Thailand. I, I come by myself first. Yeah, this I ride boat. You know, I have small boat. 
and I came to Thailand and I stayed with a monk in temple. We tell my family come, come with me. At that time, I have two daughters. People act differently sometimes. Uh, I did not see it uh, in a negative way at all. That's what I like about the US actually, that people do, do value your brain and your contributions rather than where, where you come from. Uh, I think that's very valuable here. That's why I like this country a lot. Uh, they act, uh, you know, they are curious uh, uh, in positive ways. Uh, uh, for example, when they hear my accent, they always ask where I'm from, and I ask them to guess. <laughs> they can rarely guess. For the most part, my closest friends, all of us had very different cultures, but one of the things that we shared was that, um, for the most part, we were all first generation. So our parents had all been, uh, my parents had all come to the States in the 70s and 80s, we were all born here. Uh, so we all, even though we would have like, in many cases, very, very different cultures, uh, we kind of shared a similar experience of needing to constantly explain to our parents uh, why things might be important to us that they would have no reference for, or why, uh, why there would be sort of like frictions between some of the values we would have at home and some of the values we've experienced outside of the home. So for the most part, I was very fortunate that the friends that I had uh, shared a similar experience even though we had drastically different cultures. It's really nice to be able to meet people from all over the world who have totally different perspectives um, maybe than I do, you know, maybe they're coming from a really different place and, and they have, they get to help me learn new ideas and new ways of seeing things, so I really appreciate that. Thanks uh, Paul. Uh... United States, you know, except my family live over here, you know, and everybody happy, live in United States. And we happy, we American citizen. Of course, U.S. is my home country now as well. It's never perfect, so I wish I could combine some aspects of both lives, but it's impossible. But I'm, I'm very happy here. I also really appreciate that I get to meet people from all over the world, and we're also totally the same. Thank you.